Hey guys, I'm back. Check out my shirt. I'm my own hair crush. Um, check out the comments below to see where I got it in case you want one. All right, so I washed my hair for this twist out with the Giovanni's Tea Tree Oil Conditioner I got from Whole Foods. Amazing. And as my leave-in, I use the Karen's Body Beautiful Pomegranate Leave-In Conditioner. Provides a ton of slip and it smells delicious. And no surprise, my favorite, my almond oil. I cannot live without this almond oil. Then for my styler, of course, I'm doing a, I guess I kind of like a Camille Rose Naturals Curl Maker series. I did my wash and go, the last one. This one, I want to show you guys how this product works with a twist out. I got started and did the right side of my head with a number of twists in the front and in the back. And I will show you how I do my twist um, on the left side of my head. So I separated my hair. Again, I um, added the Karen's Body Beautiful to my hair right when I came out the shower. Otherwise, my hair will dry and it will be um, annoying to have to re-wet it while I'm on my bed. So I um, like to add that as soon as I come out the shower. Here, I do my favorite smoothing of my hair cuticle, my hair shaft. That just really helps to promote shine, to deepen the moisture. Here I'm adding um, some of my oil, I believe, in here. Um, and just spreading it through my hair. Again, really smoothing um, any product I put in my hair. I smooth my hair shaft a lot. And I think that's why my hair, again, um, has a lot of shine. And this is the uh, Camille Rose Curl Maker Gel that I'm applying here to my hair right now. Um, great product, very slippery, provides a nice level of moisture and shine to my hair. Um, I think if I didn't layer my hair with the leave-in and the oil, it will probably dry my hair out. My hair is exceptionally dry, so that is why I like to spritz my hair every night and add oil every night just to make sure it doesn't get dry. When your hair is dry, keep in mind that it will break. It's more prone to break when the hair is dry. That is why it is so important to make sure your hair is moist. Moist hair also shines. Dry hair will not shine. Dry hair will look dull. Dry hair will break. Dry hair will uh, have you saying to yourself, how come she's um, only been natural for one full year? Um, um, transition for a year, last relaxer was uh, three years this coming November and a hair is that long. I wet my hair every single night to maintain moisture so that it wouldn't dry and it wouldn't break. So it's about length retention. Okay, ladies? Here I'm just adding my twists and as I'm adding my twists, I'm smoothing my hair. I'm almost like pinching my hair when I'm twisting it. I'm like not squeezing it, but I'm making sure I'm stretching it and elongating it so the twists are very smooth. When it's very smooth, it also reflects the light, which makes the hair look exceptionally shiny. Somebody was asking me in my last wash and go, um, did I add a filter to my video to make my hair look shiny? I do add filter to my video, not for my hair, <laughs> more so my face. <laughs> So, <laughs> you know, us girls got to do what we got to do. We on camera. But um, uh, my hair is just naturally, uh, not naturally shiny, I think, because I follow the curly girl method. My hair is very raw, meaning I have no silicones in my hair that coats the hair that can cause your hair to be dull. If you realize your hair is very dry and you are feeling that your hair is not shiny, um, not maintaining moisture, and maybe the products you're using that's not all natural. It may have silicone, sulfates, parabens, paraffins, which is probably causing your hair to dry out, um, resist moisture, and that is why your hair is dry and not um, shiny. Okay, when your hair is raw, again, it allows um, the products to really penetrate your hair, um, the oils to seal the existing moisture in your hair. Again, oil does not provide moisture, ladies. Oils seal the existing moisture and any added moisture you've added to your hair. Okay, so oil alone is probably not the best, at least not for me. Um, I have to at least start my wash day with a, a leave-in and I wash my hair with conditioner. So while I'm washing my hair, I'm only using conditioner 
and that is providing moisture to my hair. And then I seal it with my oil, okay? And that's why I add oil uh, every day throughout my twist out or wash and go. Again, I use my Demon brush sometimes just to make sure my strands are very smooth. Uh, my hair is pretty detangled. This hair with the raking of the product is also like finger detangling and I'm smoothing and I also kind of detangle by smoothing. When you're smoothing your hair, pay attention to your fingers. Let your fingers do the talking and the walking and the singing. Um, it can feel single strand knots. It can feel bumps in the hair. So when you're smoothing it, you also kind of pay attention to your hair shaft. Let your fingers really communicate to you what's going on with your hair. Okay, as you're twisting, you're smoothing. That's very important, smoothing and elongating. That will help also to prevent shrinkage in your hair. Shrinkage can lead to tangles, okay? So I'm all about stretching and smoothing my hair because it really does help to prevent tangling. Here again, and just so you know, I edit this video back to save time, but I probably smooth my hair for every section about like, literally like a minute and a half. I'm smoothing, 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 smoothing before I actually get to this point here, which is starting to twist. Um, and as you can see, it helps to clump your hair together as well. It will help when you have your wash day as well. It will be so much easier. Um, of course, you know, I'm going to band this later on in the video, um, to elongate my hair and I band every single night. Okay. This will help your, your twist look smooth. See how smooth, no frizz, no flyaways. And I do have flyaways, ladies. My hair is not perfect. My hair is breaks also. I have little split ends, but you know, you got to do what you got to do to maintain it. So you want the curls to look smooth and extremely neat. A neat set will mean an amazing result when you, um, let your hair out the next day. Um, I think, um, I will, probably wear my hair twisted the first day. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm recording and editing this as I go. <laughs> Here's a close up of the twist. Do you see how smooth that twist is? Um, I'm, I'm not twisting it tight, tight, but it's a firm twist. Um, I twist from the root all the way down to the tips and to the ends. I don't braid, start braiding and then twist. I just twist. I'm not doing anything to my, to my roots in particular. It will probably get slightly puffy over time, but that's okay. Um, when I bend it at night, it will help to flatten out anything at the roots that may, um, have gotten a little puffed up or shrunk throughout the day as my hair was drying. Um, the level of the number of twists you do is really up to you. This is my basic set. Um, and this is how I make sure a lot of my hair just throughout my hair is fully covered with product and moisturized um, so this takes me about 45 minutes um, the twisting part I believe from beginning to end because I really go in and make sure my hair is moist and I smooth uh, smooth it through the product through my hair so it takes a little bit of time washing my hair probably takes about 10 minutes total to wash my hair and then another like 10 minutes to clean my body so 20 minutes in the shower and 45 minutes. So about an hour and 45 minutes from beginning to end. Here, I ran out of one strand. So I just kind of like used my Demi to smooth it out. And then see that small sp strand sticking out? I just blended it in, wrapped it around, and made sure that curl was nice. Again, it's you have strands sticking out the end, strands sticking out in between the twist. It's not going to look right. It's going to look frizzy. I mean, you want to make sure your hair is tight and locked. And a quick little, another little length check for you guys with my twist. Again, slightly below bra strap. I don't measure my hair. I don't, um, I'm not trying to, I don't have a goal like waist length or anything. I just, um, go about my business and just do my hair. <laughs> the morning of this wash, I went bike riding. I did a 20 mile bike ride and ran home and hopped in the shower and washed my hair. That's what I do normally on Sunday mornings. Um, here I use my satin scarf to set my hair. Um, so any flyaways that may occur, I just do that for 10 minutes. I like to kind of have my hair flattened out. It kind of just like locks everything into place. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean, but like I'm anal. I like my edges to look nice. I put a headband on because I'm about to run my errands for the day. I don't want anything on my face and that's it.
Okay guys, so this was um, the night of my twist out and I'm gonna band it. So as you know, I definitely love using my almond oil to just put over my twists before I bend. Try not to be too rough with the twists because you will frizz it out. And I have my elastic bands that you guys know I get from my local beauty supply store. And I band it, um, doesn't really matter. Sometimes in two pigtails here, I think I did um, four um, pigtails. Banded it down, not too tight as to not rip the hair or burst the hair. But firm enough to keep the twist stretched out. As I'm banding, I'm pulling on my twist and elongating it so that it stretches out that much. Okay, and um, normally when I do my twist out, I like to kind of wear my twist for a couple of days, um, maybe two days uh, after wash day, just to enjoy the twist and, you know, a low maintenance style, make it look cute, as you'll see coming up shortly, and also kind of to give my hair a rest. It's kind of like a little semi-protective style. And for me, it's important to just um, have a number of ways to wear my hair. I think versatility is key. Ladies, I think it's important to be flexible with your hair, try different things, see what works. Um, this had worked for me. Um, I think I'm going to do a video also on the oils that I use because that is instrumental on top of following the curly girl method. Um, so, uh, okay, this is what my hair looks like when it's all banded and done. This is the next morning. Um, I like the banding also because I feel like overnight my hair has the opportunity just to kind of like stay tight together and um, moist. And as I'm unraveling or taking out the elastic bands, um, I want to make sure, you need to make sure that you're not taking it out too quickly or what have you because you don't want to rip your hair out. Um, here I'm adding gel to my edges, laying my edges down. And again, like I had said before, every night I like to wash my face and rinse out the gel from my hairline so that there's not too much buildup over the course of the days. And I grab my beautiful elastic band, which I feel like I lost this elastic band recently. I got to find it. Um, but I love it. Um... Got a lot of compliments on it. And I grab my elastic band, I'm pulling my twist back, sweeping it back into one single ponytail. I usually just pull the elastic band through one time and that's it. And what I do here is use a series of bobby pins to pin the elastic band um, uh, to my hair, to my scalp or whatever you wanna call it, so that it remains wide, so that my ponytail is pretty, um, wide so it gives the illusion of a very full ponytail which it is naturally full but um it doesn't squeeze the hair together in a tight ponytail so as you can see i'm taking the little bobby pins pulling the elastic band close to my ear to widen it and i will do this on both sides and i just pin it down like this that keeps the elastic band in place now i'm doing the next side same thing pull it pull the hair through Otherwise the twist look bumpy and makes your head look funny. So most of the time people don't want to wear their twists this way because maybe it's not um, giving you that smooth polished look. Same thing, pull, pull the elastic bands through and pin it down. Now I'll wear this style for again about two days, sometimes three days, sometimes the whole entire week. Um, but normally throughout the week towards closer to wash day, I will undo the twist and wear it out. Sometimes if I have something to do, I have a, an event to go to, I will untwist and retwist my hair, add a little more gel just to make sure my twists are very smooth and wear it out like the day after. Uh, as you just saw, my twists are very shiny. 
Again, that's the smoothing of the set. The set was such a really good set. That's very important. Um, and just my overall regimen. I will do a video on just my regimen so you guys can hear, have all the details on that. Here, I like pulling out my sideburns. I call them sideburns. I like to have that here frame my face. And then I add a little bit of gel, just a tap to it and I tuck it behind my ear so that it will set. If I don't do that, it will um, shrink up to my face. So I tuck it behind my ear like that and let it set. And then later I do this. So this is one way I wear my hair. Sometimes I wear it um, this way here. We're gonna show you, I grab another elastic band and I pull my hair through one time and kind of keep the, some of the twist tucked underneath and then I play with it to make sure everything is um, nice and neat and I tuck it in. You can use a pin to clip it down if you need to. Sometimes I let my fingers just feel it through and just tuck my hair through. This is like my double protective style so when I don't want my hair out at all, I will do this. I think it's beautiful. Elegant, simple, Way of wearing twists and I work in corporate America so it helps to have a very polished look I've given presentations with this style um, I think it looks pretty elegant it's gonna have to do <laughs> and I use a lot of hair jewelry sometimes just to spruce up my outfits and my my hairstyle it's nice to take some time to make the hair look pretty And for me, I don't wear my hair out a lot, I feel like, um, maybe just twice a week tops because for me it's more about the health of my hair, depending on the weather and my regimen because I work out also at least three to four times a week. I don't want to have to fuss with my hair. I like a very low maintenance style. For me, it's less about showing my curls <laughs> than it is about doing what I have to do to maintain a healthy life and so forth. All right, this is day, so I wore that twist out look for two days. So this is day three of my uh, twist out. <clears throat> Here I believe I uh, took out the twist the night of. This is day three or day four, I forget. But I took out the twist um, the night before and I just banded it in two the loose the loosened twist the unravel twist into two pigtails like this so now I'm unbanding I did spritz a little bit of water and I added a little bit of my almond oil and I just banded this is what I do every single night this is my nighttime routine ladies I get a lot of questions on Instagram about that and this is it one day this week I think I had retwisted or twisted I think that's what I did. I think I wore it twisted for two, three days, retwisted it, added a little more gel, same way I had it twisted before, banded it. I think this is day four. So I knew I had to go out somewhere. So I wanted a certain kind of a look. Sometimes I don't retwist, sometimes I do. It's really up to you. I just wanted to um, have it uh, look very, very smooth because it does get frizzy over time. So when I knew I wanted to rock it, and wear it out. I want to make sure it was fully moisturized. Again, all my strands got water and um, it looked very neat. So as you can see, it's very tight and that's why I kind of like, like the banding because it helps to prevent um, tangles because it's fully stretched out. As you guys know, this is not my natural curl pattern and I'm fine with that because for me it's more about maintaining the health of my hair. And when it comes time to wash my hair, my hair is Detangled. I mean, this is fully detangled for the most part because it's elongated. The, cur the curls are not locking into each other. So here, what you'll see later on in the video is interesting because this is, yeah, this is like day four. And this is what my hair looked like the morning of. And I will show you what my hair looked like afterwards, how it puffs up. This is the morning and the evening my curl pattern starts to come back with just the natural humidity in the air, my hair starts to shrink throughout 
request of the day. Here I'm just separating some of the clumps just to provide some fullness. And a lot of times I don't um, separate too much because it's going to get naturally full in time. I like to massage my scalp. I like to use my fingers to pull down. I really kind of avoid using Afrocombs. I feel like with Afrocombs, when you pick out your roots, you're nodding your hair. You're tangling your hair, <laughs> for me at least. Because you know, the comb is not gonna go through all the way. So you're just like creating volume, but then the same token, you're creating this superficial tangle. So I don't even bother. Here's my hair. Very shiny. <laughs> Looks great with leather. And again, options. So did I wear my hair out that day? I don't remember. So I'm doing my voiceover um, days after this this uh, was actually um, done. But uh, I think I wore my hair back. I think I'm going to pin it back. But So I use my headband. Love that. Love the hair off my face. I can't bother with hair on my face sometimes. It bothers me. Um, but as you can see, the edges are laid from the night before. The satin scarf helps to keep everything intact. Um, there goes my sideburns, stuck it behind my ear. Same old boring routine. So it's either you wear it all out, wear it pushed back with a headband, and then you can either grab the elastic band and do my wide ponytail. <laughs> and that's really, the, that's really all I do with my hair. Either all out, headband, and out. Headband with wide ponytail. Um, in twist or out up oh, there I go <laughs> see like I always opt not to wear my hair all out I mean I don't know what it is I just prefer it off my face and I know it's just easier to maintain over time the night of when it's just pulled back because my hair gets very 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 big again one time and I grab the pins and I start pinning my hair Sometimes I don't wear the headband if my hair is laid the way it's laid here. I don't need it because it's like shaped nicely. Um, and again, I'm just pinning the elastic band down as you can see. So my hair almost still feels like it's all out. And to me, it kind of is still all out. It's just pushed back. All right? Love that shine. Sometimes I look at these videos when I'm recording, after I'm done recording, and I'm like even shocked. I don't get to see the back of my hair much. So it's nice to kind of see it from this perspective. <laughs> Pinning away. Sorry for the long videos. So I'll make sure you guys get all the details. Again, every night I spritz my hair with some water and add almond oil. If I want to add more product, I will. But I normally don't need to. Um, I would just do it on my edges. But if you feel your hair needs that, you have to do what your hair needs. Um, I'm not saying I don't do that. Sometimes I do, but not all the time. So your regimen is never going to be the same exact thing. Especially when your hair starts to grow, you find your hair needs more of something. My hair needs more water the longer it grows and a lot more oil the longer it grows. And I use a lot more product also. I go to like a bottle of curl maker with like three washes. So, the longer you're here, the more product you will use, the more money you're going to spend. <laughs> and then I put the headband on. Here's what the back looks like. A nice, full ponytail. It's like you ran it all out, it's just tamed. And when you kind of pull the hair back, it gives more volume. It gives your hair a little bit of a layered look. Right? I love this style for anything. For wedding, for work. I use this style when I go to the gym, just every day. And some ideas of things I do also, if I want to spruce it up even more, if I'm going to a wedding or maybe going to church, or baby shower, bridal shower, sometimes I even wear this when I'm going to work, just because I feel like being pretty. So I get hair accessories. And if you're going to use that, you definitely don't need the headband. Oh, the watch I'm wearing, you guys, is by Sarah Designs New York. I think I have posted that on Instagram. 
great bracelet watch. I have it in silver, this black and gold. It's costume jewelry, so it's not that expensive. So here's what the comb looks like. Up against the hair. Nice way to dress up the natural hair, ladies. Have fun with it. Sometimes I do a double comb, like I'm going to show you here. Sometimes you can do it on both sides, not for work, maybe for a wedding, to really dress up your hair. Look at that. Shine, bounce, style, simple and elegant. Another thing I would say also, ladies, is I think what helps also with growth, at least for me, that I realized is the working out. I think the sweating helps to cleanse and clean out your pores and your scalp naturally when you sweat. It's healthy. So this is that evening. See how my hair shrunk over time? Um, so this is like maybe four hours later, my hair shrinks right back. So, I mean, I love this. Um, again, this is that evening. I took the elastic band off and this is what my hair looks like. What a difference, right? My hair loves moisture. And to me, when your hair shrinks, it means your hair is healthy. So I'd say embrace the shrinkage, ladies. But if I wore it like this that um, morning, it will be shorter. It would have shrunk even more. But this is fantastic. And then that night, I just spritzed a little bit of water and I banded it. And the next day is wash day. Yes, I know. This is wash day. See, that's more of my natural curl pattern. And it's still not my natural curl pattern. My natural curl pattern is, is still a lot more tighter than this. But you get a lot of the bounce, the volume, the separation of the curls when your hair is detangled. The curls, has op the curls have the opportunity to, um, you know, be loose and separate and, and bounce and provide more volume and layers because it's not tangled. They more so, they more so function like individual curls. Show me some other styles I do sometimes to go to work. Some up, I call it some up, some down. The ponytail up top and the, the, um, the bottom loose just like this I wear it sometimes sometimes I don't pin it sometimes I will pin that top part so that it's a wider ponytail so it still looks like the, it still looks like the other ponytail just with a little bit more height and it has more of a layered look in the back I think I'm gonna turn around and show you yeah look at that look how much volume that gives you because you have a ponytail up top versus just the one ponytail that I did prior to this. Right, isn't that cute? Look at that bounce and, and body. And again, throw it back home. And voila. <laughs> it's important to practice these styles when you have time at home on a weekend if it's raining or snowing. Just take your time and practice and Take a picture of it so that you can reference that if you have an event, you remember how to do your styles. I think I'm going to show you another style that I do. And yeah, when I sweep it all up. Sometimes I don't want to be bothered in the summertime. I'll just wear my hair all the way up in a high bun. Pull it through once. I never ever really pull my elastic band through my hair more than once. Just do it once because I like my hair full. And there goes my side bun. <laughs> my side pineapple. Twisted pineapple. Crooked pineapple. Another cute, elegant style. This is good if your hair is about to be like a little bit frizzy or it's time for wash day. Um, you could rock your hair like this. Shape the elastic band so that your ponytail will be shaped the way you want it to be shaped. Cute, sexy, professional, playful. You want it to come down longer? Just extend the elastic band so that it lays closer to your neckline. Just like that. Cute.
And then after this, I was tired, so I didn't band in front of you guys, but you guys saw me banding. So I spritzed water, a little olive oil, uh, um, almond oil, and then I banded. This is wash day, it's a Sunday. And I think this day I was gonna run to the gym. Yes, I was going to the gym. So here's what I did that before, banded it, sloppy. Banded, set, because I knew I was gonna work out, so I didn't worry about making it perfect. So my gym routine, now that I've discovered banding, is really just band the night before. I mean, and your hair remains moist because you would have spritzed water in your hair the night before. You would have added your almond oil or your, your oil of choice, and your hair is ready to work out because it's moist. My hair is super moist in the mornings, but in the day it gets dry. So that's why I moisturize every day my hair is not staying moist all day sometimes it does depending on the weather the wind factor you know the coats you start wearing now in the fall the cotton or the wool i don't really even wear wool coats if i wear a wool coat i have a satin scarf around my neck because the wool will break your hair add it to a twist because the front of my hair is a little bit frizzy do what you gotta do ladies <laughs> Add a twist if it's frizzy in the back. Add a twist at the nape of your neck if you need to. Do what you have to do so the style looks great. And I knew I was going to do the gym, but I wanted to kind of just do that so I could show you guys what I do sometimes. I pull at the nape of the neck to elongate my curls. How cute is that? <laughs> and I will be washing my hair maybe four hours later after I come from the gym running my errands. But it still looked this good after um, five days of a twist out. Five to six days of a twist out. Six days of a twist out. Look at that length. The elongation really helps extend the length. There goes my headband again. This one is a thinner one. I call it my gym headband. It's not so dressy. It's just something to sweep my hair back. There goes my sideburns. And if I wasn't going to the gym, then my hair was set to do whatever I need to do, run errands. I do church on Saturdays, so Sundays is my day to run my errands. I'm just trying to tone up when I go to the gym these days. And here, I believe I'm going to put my hair back into a regular ponytail, not a wide one. Sometimes I do it like this. I think this time I may have wrapped it around once. Yeah, once. Went when a uh, twist, and then that's it. So you see how tight that ponytail is versus my other ponytail? Not as full as my other ponytail. This is your traditional ponytail, not the wide ponytail. And this is my favorite hair item. It's called Lock Sock, L-O-C-S-O-C. -O -O um, you could go on to locksock.com and order these. This is amazing. I use these every time I go to the gym for the most part. Um, and when I go bike riding under my helmet, uh, it's traditionally for people with natural hair, people who have dreads, um, but it's so stylish. I get a lot of compliments on these and it comes in a ton of colors oh, and patterns. So I think you guys have seen um, posts on these on my Instagram page, but I usually put my hair back in a ponytail, pull the lock sock all over my head, and then pull it over to create. You could just do like that, keep the ponytail out. You could tuck it in underneath. You could wear it more narrow, like a headband or like a sweatband. 
I usually twist it like that and just tuck it. And sometimes I'll just wear it all the way down loose. Because I go to the gym kind of looking a little ghetto. But that's okay. I'm going to sweat and not look cute. But why not look cute while you work out? So that's one way I wear it. And the beauty with the lock socks is that you can like wear it any way you like. Play with it with your hair. You can tuck your hair completely. Um, tuck your hair away completely. Wear it as a headband, like I mentioned before. Um, you could pull it all back. Wear an elastic band, turn it into like a bun. It's just fun to play with and come with like a lot of ideas of how to rock your natural hair. Again, these come in a number of beautiful patterns um, and designs. So I love them. I have like, I think, three of them. Um, this is another way I wear it. Uh, sometimes I just have my hair all out. This is cute also if you go shopping, doing your errands in the summertime, even in the winter underneath a hat. I will use this if I don't have a satin scarf. Um, my hair loose like this just like pull back i think it's so cute so adorable different to a head tie um i just like to have fun with my hair especially when it's like leading towards wash day and um whether i'm bike riding working out running errands i will wear my lock sock um if i just want to like cover my hair kind of protect my hair uh, i will grab one of them and just do what i have to do so I love it. It's just a completely versatile and you could totally have fun on their website. Also, there are a number of ways to tie a lock sock, which I love. And I only really showed like one or two. Um, this is like an idea of what I do. I'm in a gym, lift them dumbbells, work out, build those muscles, muscles burn fat. Ladies, you're not going to bulk up if you do high repetitions. Um, I'm just trying to get my health in order. As you guys know, I have that whole thyroid issue. So it's so important for me just to make sure I work out. Um, that's part of the reason why I took a break from doing videos. I want to shift some of my attention to my health. Not just the health of my hair, but my overall health. So here I'm going to, I think, do a wide ponytail. So I grab my loose elastic band, put my gym headband on. And you guys know how I clip my head, um, clip my elastic bands to do a very wide full ponytail. This is normally how I use it when I go to the gym. Sometimes I will use it just like this with the headband, or um, I will add a lock sock, depending on how I'm feeling. Normally, if I'm going to, let's say, go to the gym and just do strict weight training, I won't use potentially. I won't use the lock sock. Um, but if I know I'm going to do like a lot of cardio, I will use it because it also helps with keeping the sweat kind of off my face just to have that fabric there to soak up any excess uh, sweat perspiration. So I like to pin my hair back as if I'm doing my regular wide ponytail style. And I think this day I was just going to do... Um, weight training so that's why I'm just clipping it back quick and easy I really don't like I said before I don't normally wear my hair completely all out I just like to wear have it pulled back I feel like even having to pull back helps to pre help to prevent the tangles most of the time the tangles end up you know at your roots for the most part when I have it all out it gets really matted so when I just pull it back sweep it back it's kind of just like elongating like the first four inches, five inches from my roots, um, like back, you know, it's kind of swept back. So it was like easier. So if it's going to get tangled, it's going to be from where the elastic band is all the way down. <laughs> this is my hair in the back full and just, just full of life. And I'm grateful to God for the blessing of the hair he gave me on my head. <laughs> At one point in time, I was losing the hair on my head due to my uh, thyroid um, hyperthyroidism so that's why I went natural and that's why I try to work out um, not for vanity for health and I give God the glory in all that I do thank you guys for watching please leave your comments below and again apologies for the long video it's like 40 minutes <laughs> but you asked and I delivered have a nice day cheers guys <laughs>